What's up? Hey guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I want to show you how to create a video ad on Google AdWords. So it's a pretty simple, straightforward process. Um, it's basically the same as just doing a regular campaign, except when we click on a campaign, we're going to select video. Now these videos, uh, they are also YouTube videos, okay? So you can also see them on YouTube. So all those videos you see in between um, videos that you look at, or maybe like that little six second bumper video you see at the beginning, this is how we would do them through, through this process here. All right. So let's, let's jump right in. So first thing we need to do is go into your Google AdWords account, go to, uh, the campaign level, click on the little plus sign and go to videos. And what this will do is this will allow you to place ads across YouTube and across any site you want to. So first thing we need to do is make a campaign name. So I'll say you know, YouTube campaign A. Uh, that's just the type. So leave it at video because we're making a video ad. Don't change this at all if you want to do a video ad, right? This will just change your options here. Uh, we already know how to do search network ads, etc., etc. I've done a full out playlist on Google that. Uh, check it out, you know, how to make a regular ad. Uh, just stick to this for now. Um, th this is just kind of the, 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 the point of it. So if you want to uh, encourage people to buy products listed in your Google Merchant Center account. Again, I've, I've done a, a Google Shopping uh, Center video on that as well. Check it out up above. Um, but depending on what your goal is, if our goal is to, you know, just make a video and just drive people to our website, we would select standard, okay? If you want to install uh, or if you have a mobile app and you want people to install it, you would select mobile app installs, okay? Pretty straightforward. I'm going to go with standard for now. Um, we don't have any videos right now to load settings from, so I'm not going to touch that. Video ads format. Now, if you're ever unsure about something, you can contact support by clicking help and clicking on live chat or phone. Um, and you can also go on this little question mark here. So if you just, you know, don't click on it. It doesn't work. I've tried it. Um, you would just, just need to uh, hover over it and it will tell you everything that it is, okay? So for example, here it says in-stream videos uh, run before, during, or after video ads. Uh, and they give the option to skip, whereas video discovery ads, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about, ver whereas bumper ads, for example, are six seconds or less, okay? So the, the first option is in-stream or video dis discovery are basically videos that show up, uh, for example, when you're watching YouTube, those videos that show up at the beginning, middle, or end of the video, and um, it has a little skip now button on the bottom right that you can skip on, okay? So the the, Good thing about this is that you can have a long video here if, if you choose to do so. Uh, the downside is that people can skip it without actually even knowing what your site and right what your site is about or what you do. Okay, so kind of kind of tricky there. Whereas for bumper ads, uh, there is no option to skip. These are videos that show up at the very beginning. You might find them super super annoying because you can't skip them. You know, like that little ketchup commercial um, where this this. Um, ketchup frio or something um where this where this chip is bathing in ketchup or something like that right uh so that would be the six second video ad that you can't skip that you're forced to watch and you're forced to kind of go through the whole thing if you want to watch the video okay so that's the difference between these two so if you have a six second video pick bumper ads if you have a video that's longer than that you need to pick this one all right and people will have the option to skip it so the option is um even though it says here manual bidding cpb or cpm uh, you only have the option to pay per view if you're doing this. And for bumper ads, your only option is to pay for impression. So CPM, basically for every thousand impressions. Um, uh, so that's what you would do here. So again, you would set your budget delivery method. Again, same as usual. You can either make it standard so it distributes evenly, or you can make it accelerated so it shows ads as fast as possible and gets, you know, gets through your budget as fast as possible. Um, the other option here is, so for example, if I put in stream, are these things so youtube search are, are basically when someone searches for your ad your ad will come up so over here as you can see if i put in bumper ads uh, that won't show because that's like a five second video that people won't be searching for okay these bumper ads are kind of little things saying hey get to know me right so people won't be searching for it it's just there kind of it's made for the purpose of being a commercial so youtube search if you select this option right and you can check mark or uncheck mark as many as you want youtube search means when someone types something into the youtube search bar saying hey how do i do this 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 how do i do this 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 that's where your ad will show if you say youtube videos and again if you can click on this little check mark here 
That means the videos that show up on the newsfeed, right? So show video on the YouTube homepage, watch and channel pages. So when you first log into YouTube, normally you would see that little video like right at the very top. That would be this YouTube videos part, right? So if you want your ad to show up there, that's where it can show. And then video partners on display network. Um, I didn't get too much detail on that uh, with my conversations with uh, my Google colleagues here uh, on, 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 on the support team. Uh, but basically Google partners. Um, so whatever video partners they have, again, I'm not sure as to the details, uh, your ads would have the option to show there. So the positive thing is you'll get more impressions. More people will see your ad. The bad thing is it's not going to be as targeted. It's not going to be as high quality leads. Okay. So definitely experiment with this. See if it works for you. I normally do not do that, right? I want high quality. I want traffic that converts. So I usually won't select it. Um, countries again select whatever countries you want to that that's straightforward I'm not gonna get into detail into that languages I leave it at English just leave it at that um, don't change that options here again same thing we've gone over this in the video on how we can kind of optimize our campaigns uh, so if you want to you know if, if your um, video is showing very well for some reason to desktop users you can increase your bid your keyword bid uh, you know, by like 50%, for example. So if, if your if your bid for uh, this video, right, per view is 10 bucks, it'll be 15 bucks now, right? Because you're increasing by 50%. Normally, I don't touch this at all. I just leave it. Um, like my videos uh, work fine on mobile, tablet, or uh, desktop, so it doesn't really matter. Um, schedule, again, same thing as with the regular ads. You can set a start date, end date. I normally leave it blank. Uh, I'm usually on my computer like 24 seven. I uh, check my campaigns. As you can see here, I always have my tabs open. I always check it uh, at least a few times an hour, right? Uh, many times an hour actually to make sure everything's doing well as I'm working on more and more campaigns. Uh, ad delivery, so this is, you can actually, um, um, so this part is you can uh, define which which audience you want to target. I usually leave it just at that. That's fine. Um, but this one here, frequency capping. So you can set so impressions, right? So you can set how many times you want uh, the same person to either see your ad or view your ad. So if you want, you know, each person. Uh, so for example, um, let's say we want them to see one impression, one view. So we want right with these settings I want no more than my one ad shown to one person per day so I want them to just see the ad one time a day I don't want him to see the ad more so if I said for example five times then if this person right that, that I'll be targeting which I'll go over in the in the next section where we go to save and continue um, they can potentially see my ad five times now in this case what's gonna happen is if my video is for instance 30 seconds long my ad will keep showing to them up to a total of five times on, or until they see at least 30 seconds of my video or they finish viewing the video, right? So that's basically what this would mean. So set this up based on how you want it. You can do per week, per month uh, for this campaign, of course. That's the only campaign. Or you can choose for ad group, for ad, et cetera, et cetera. Play around with it, right? But these are the options that you have. Uh, I would normally maybe leave it right at about that, maybe three, maybe, uh, you know, I want my user to see it no more than three times, but you know, if after three times they still haven't seen the full video, I'm not going to bother. Right. Uh, and if you're doing bumper ads, the options will change a bit as well. You will only get impressions because there's no view, right. For bumper ads, it's only six seconds long. Um, so that's that. Let's go to, let's say $1 for our budget. Let's go to save and continue. So here's where you would actually set the targeting. Okay, now the targeting is pretty cool. So uh, first of all, let's set our ad group. So I'll just leave it at ad group one. Uh, you can put in your video here. Okay, uh, so select a video or paste from YouTube. Um, so uh, these videos have to be on YouTube. So just upload them to YouTube, you know, create a YouTube uh, account. You should already have one if you have AdWords. Um, and just, just put a video up there. If you don't want it to be uh, listed publicly to everyone and you want only these people who see this uh, ad to see your um, video, then put it as un un unlisted. Uh, that makes it so that anyone who has the link, who has your link, uh, only they can be able to see your video, nobody else. Okay, so just make it as unlisted. Um, again, maximum CPM. So here's where you would actually put your put your kind of bidding cost, right? So let's say you know one dollar. 
Uh, I'll just leave it at that. So popular videos, bit adjustment. This is basically, you know, YouTube has their ways of determining these popular videos based on engagement, based on, you know, likes, comments, shares, uh, views, et cetera, et cetera. Um, they have their own way of doing it. So basically this is saying, um, how much more willing are you to pay for your ad to be shown in these popular videos? And that's where you would put in these, this bit adjustment here. So last but not least, we're, we're pretty much done. Here's where we would actually put our targeting and select who we want to show our ad to. So this is kind of like Facebook now, right? Because we can target exactly who we want. So let's start with demographics. Uh, face, um, Google has all this data. Uh, now the age and gender like they don't have that much information on it so what i would do is i would probably just leave it at that and then um as as my ads run i will see which group is performing the best and then i will i will target that group uh when i first start i usually don't change that at all uh per parental styles i mean this depends what you do uh what products you're promoting for stuff like um like online marketing tools uh, that probably doesn't matter at all household income that may matter if you're promoting an expensive product right you probably don't want to promote to like the lower 50% income they probably won't be able to afford it so this is basically one type of targeting you could do uh, now there's six targeting kind of categories you can have in total um, all six of them must be met so it's not like either this or this or this so whatever you said here all six must be met in order for your ad to show. So if I select, so for example, right, here's my interests. So let me, let me uh, first do this and then I'll, then I'll uh, go over all of them. Okay. So if I create a demographic and an interest and a keyword and a placement and a remarketing list, then all those criteria must be met for my ad to show. So it's going to be really, really limited and really restrictive. So I'd usually probably go with two or three out of these six. I would probably not go with all six. Otherwise, your ad will show to like one person, right? Uh, in order for all of them to match, like it's going to be crazy, crazy, crazy narrow. So um, good luck kind of targeting people that way. But we've talked about demographics. So the interest, what, what, what happens is this is really mostly related to websites, not necessarily YouTube channels. As I mentioned, uh, these videos can go on, on uh, websites, not only YouTube, right? So this isn't only YouTube ads. This is just video ads in general, uh, YouTube included. But here, basically what happens is YouTube, um, based on the category, YouTube places your video ad based on the YouTube channel or the... Um, uh, website that has uh, that has this kind of topic of interest as their main interest so for example you know avid investors it's probably going to put my video on a site that's talking a lot about investments okay that's the idea for interest uh, for keywords you know about keywords uh, this would be uh, for YouTube keywords mainly so now notice there's a little um, a little circle here now for, for placement I think it will be red uh, that doesn't mean it's wrong don't worry about it it's just they have all these six different colors okay uh, corresponding to each of those so placements you can search for placements you can put your video ads on specific YouTube channels on specific videos on websites or on mobile apps you can you know Apple store apps etc etc you can add whatever you want to so if I'm recommending online marketing, I would probably want to put my videos on some online marketing channel, right? Maybe like, um, or maybe like, like, like websites, I would probably want to put it on Neil Patel's websites, right? He's a big blogger. He's a big website guy, um, right? Whatever other big YouTubers you can think of that are good at, you know, online marketing, look them up, put, put in their channel name and you should be able to put your ads on their channel. So pretty cool. Uh, anyone that subscribed to the channel, anyone that watches their videos or on specific videos. Now, Given that, if you only put in like one video, um, you know, your your ad impressions will be extremely limited to that only one video. So you may want to expand your list a bit. Otherwise, you know, you won't get that many impressions. You won't get that many sales. So definitely try out maybe different types. Try out different YouTube videos. Maybe even split test. Um, remarketing, you can add a remarketing list. Uh, there's no remarketing list here, uh, but I do have a video on how to set up remarketing and how to have it all available and stuff like that. Uh, check it out, the video up above as well. It's part of my Google playlist where I show you kind of everything you need to know about Google AdWords. Uh, so that's how you would do this, this remarketing list. Uh, so I'm going to skip that for now. And topic. So this is, um, so the interest group kind of, sorry. So the topic is, is actually where, um, 
your your ads will show based on kind of the main topic of the of the site. Uh, whereas interest is basically what the people are interested in. So for example, if um, a person subscribed to twenty different channels on food, right, and you and you have a food ad, and you would type in here, you know, under interests, uh, let's see, where's food here, foodies, for example or fast food cravers, your ads will show to those people that are, you know, deemed by YouTube, deemed by Google to be these fast food people, right? So that's whom it would show to. Whereas for topic, it's Google determines what um, kind of, what the main theme of the website or the YouTube channel is. And then it shows your ads on that, on those channels and on those sites, right? So that's basically that. So after you do that, you click save ad group and your video is up and running right it's right there if you want to change anything right there is where you would so topics uh, placements right you would add placements you would add topics you would change it all here uh, you would go to ads okay so we still don't have our YouTube video that's why it doesn't have an ad here and it, you, you know it doesn't have any targeting but as soon as you make an ad so after you actually put in your YouTube video URL right and you can search it up uh, so this will just take it to YouTube and you can upload the video or you, you can just search it up so for example like if you type in online marketing Jeez, it'll show you a bunch of videos you can select, but you would need to select yours, right? And then you would put it up, right? So find your video, put that video up, and then that'll be like an ad. And then you'll have all these options available here from what we've input, right? So that's basically how you would do it. You can, again, you can change the keywords here. So over here, if I go to here and I click on edit, you know, um, I, I can do all my changes here. So I can remove it, I can pause it, I can exclude campaign, ad group, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then if I want to add new keywords, I would add new keywords, stuff like that, basic stuff as you would with a regular campaign, except now your actual video will be showing, right? So over here, we didn't add a video yet, so it doesn't have anything here, um, right? But that, that's basically how you would create a video ad. Now your video will be running. It's the same process. They still need to approve it. They still need to look at the site. <laughs> Once they approve it, it should be uh, good to go up and running. So that's about it. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We cover a lot of different online marketing tools here, how-tos, tips, strategies, etc., etc. Um, and if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. And I will see you in the next video.